Hi. Now we're being asked to solve this modulus inequality. Mod x is greater than the mod of two lots of x plus 3. And there's two ways of going about this. One is a graphical method and the other is because these two sides are positive is by squaring. And in the previous video I showed you the graphical method and now I'm going to show you how we can solve this by squaring. So just to recap then, because both sides are positive, because they've got the modulus sign around them, we can square both sides. So squaring mod x would just give us x squared. So we've therefore got x squared. And it's going to be greater than, and if we square this side, we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4, multiplied with x plus 3, all squared. And so expanding the bracket on the right here, We'll just keep the 4 there. Expanding x plus 3, all squared, that's going to be x squared. Then you're going to get 3x times another 3x. That's going to be 6x. And then you've got plus 3 squared, which is plus 9. And then expanding the bracket out further, we're going to have x squared is greater than 4x squared plus 24x plus 36. Now I want to uh, remove this x squared, so I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. So we've got 0 is greater than 4x squared minus the x squared, which is 3x squared. And then we've got plus the 24x, and then plus the 36. Now I notice that 3 is a common factor, so I could divide through by 3, giving me x squared plus 8x plus 12. And I'm going to turn it around as well, okay? So therefore we've got x squared plus 8x plus 12 is less than 0. Now this quadratic expression here factorizes, so let's factorize it couple of brackets, I can see that we're going to need an x and an x, and for 12 it's going to have to be a 6 and a 2 to get us on that 8 as well. So 6 times 2 is 12, and then we're going to get 2x plus another 6x, which is the 8x, and that would be less than 0. So once we got this, we now need to find the critical values, in other words the values that make each of these factors 0. So therefore, what we've got is the critical values, just put that down, critical values will be essentially when x plus 6 equals 0, that's going to lead to x equaling minus 6, or when x plus 2 equals 0, that means x is going to be equal to minus 2. Now with these critical values, these will be the values that make this equal to zero. So what we do is we sketch a graph. So draw my axis up, x, y, okay. Should be familiar with this, solving quadratic inequalities. Put our critical values down, minus six here and minus two. And we're looking at sketching the graph then y equals x plus 6 times x plus 2. Let's just put it up here. y equals x plus 6 times x plus 2. Now this is a positive quadratic, so it's going to be u-shaped. It's going to cross the x-axis at these critical values. So you're going to get something looking like this. Down through the minus 6 and then back up through that minus 2. Okay? Now, we're looking for where it's less than 0. This is y, okay, so it's where y is less than 0. That's below the x-axis, and that occurs between minus 6 and 2, okay? So we're looking for any value between minus 6 and minus 2, and that's basically our answer. So I'm just going to say, therefore, from the graph, okay, from the graph, Essentially, we see that x must be any value between minus 6 and minus 2. And there you go.